Welcome to this webbikeworld.com video. This time we're demonstrating 13 different types of motorcycle chain loops to show you what they look like when they come out of the can. Be sure to visit webbikeworld.com for the full review and detailed photos of these products and many more. It's nearly impossible to evaluate motorcycle chain lubes. Who really knows how well one product works compared to another? We've tried them all and we've published many reviews of various chain lubes over the years. The advice? Don't get too obsessed about it. We think the best chain lube is one that has a focused and strong spray with a minimum amount of waste. It should dry quickly, not fling off, and not attract dirt. We're always looking for something new and different, and maybe better, so here's a quick look at 13 different types of chain lube. Although we have a favorite in this batch that I'll show you, to be honest, any one of these products is probably just as good as the next. It really comes down to availability and your preference. First up is Motorcycle Stuff Chain Lube. It goes on relatively clear, but the spray is slightly weak. It contains Teflon and Molly, two good lubricants. It dries relatively quickly, and the manufacturer claims that it leaves a protective film that won't fling off and that repels dirt and water. In practice, it works well, and it's a good basic chain lube. Next is Klotz Extra Tack. This is one of the foamy type sprays. We think there's too much overspray on this one. It looks like more of it goes over the chain than into it. Klotz says it contains something called Extra Tack, a waterproof formula that dries tacky. As you can see, it does get a little sticky and it eventually dries tacky. Verdict? Too much overspray and waste for us. Here we have the Elf Moto Chain Lube, made in the U.S. by a French company. It's kind of a waxy spray. Elf calls this an extreme pressure grease. I'm not sure how much of this gets down into the chain versus the more liquid sprays. When it dries, it forms a sort of greasy, sticky coating on the chain. We think it's okay, but we're not partial to the thick types of chain lubes, and the chain has to be lightly wiped after applying this one to reduce the excess that can fling off. Here's a new chain lube. It's called Gel Lube. It goes on like a thick liquid and dries into a sort of gel. It's not really a motorcycle chain lube. It's marketed as an all-around lube that works in a variety of situations, but it is sold for motorcycles. Our verdict is that we're not sure if the gel formulation really has much of a benefit in this application. This Repsol Moto Spray from Argentina is pretty much a basic chain lube. It has a good spray pattern though, although the sprayer has only a short extension built onto the nozzle, which can sometimes make it difficult to reach a chain. But it does go on nicely and has minimal overspray, and it dries rather quickly, so this is one that we like. Castrol Chain Wax goes on like a thick liquid. It dries clear and seems to stick rather well. It's a synthetic product, although many of these other sprays are either synthetic or a blend. The spray is focused and has little overspray. If you like the thicker types of chain lubes, this is a good one. Next is Maxima Chain Guard. This one is also synthetic. They call it Crystal Clear Chain Lube. It's also one of the foamy types, but this one dissolves quickly with minimal waste. Maybe the foam helps to get the lube down into the chain? It's supposed to repel moisture and protect from rust and corrosion. Now here's an interesting chain and cable lube we found from a company called TS Molly Lubricants. This TS-804 is not sold as a motorcycle chain lube. It's an industrial product. It contains molybdenum disulfide, or molly. It's supposed to be designed to penetrate into the wire strands of a cable and leave a coating of molly. It says it can't be wiped away by extreme pressure or high speeds. It has a lot of overspray, though, and it doesn't really seem to dry as quickly as the others. It's just a curiosity. I'm not sure I'd go out of my way to find this one. You like molly? We got your molly right here. The TS Molly Lubricants TS801 is a dry film molly lube, and it's designed for chains, slides, and other lubricating duties. This is pretty interesting stuff. It goes on almost like a black spray paint, and it dries quickly, leaving a film of dark matte molly coating all over, and it stays on the chain with no fling. But who knows if it works any better or worse than anything else? Uh, but you have to admit, it's an interesting and different product, that's for sure. Here's another different type of product, Elf. Moto Chain Paste. It comes in a big 250 milliliter tube and it's like a grease. It's claimed to be waterproof and with quote exceptional adhesive qualities unquote. But it's rather difficult to apply and it must be rubbed or worked into the chain and it's unclear whether or not it gets down into the side plates like a liquid. So as long as we tried the ELF Moto Chain Paste we figured hey why not try regular grease. This is from Motorex in Switzerland. It comes in a huge 850 gram tub. This is not motorcycle chain lube. It's a tub of grease, but we tried it just for kicks. Yeah, it stays greasy, and it seems to attract a lot of dirt and grit, so it's not really recommended for motorcycle chain lubrication. Ditto for this one. 
It's Maxima Waterproof Grease with Lithium. Again, we tried these just to see how they compare with the Elf Moto Chain Paste, and all of these seem to leave the chain too greasy and prone to fling off, and they attract dirt. But who knows, maybe they actually lubricate the chain better than anything else. Okay, so here's our favorite of this batch of 13 motorcycle chain lubes. This is Klotz KLR Chain Lube. It has a nice, focused, powerful spray that comes out of the included spray tube. It goes on clear, dries relatively quickly, and has very little overspray and little or no fling-off. You can see how much of it stays on the chain and doesn't get into the paper towel compared to the other sprays here, and it dries quickly. It comes in a big 454 gram, that's 16 ounce, can. It's made in the U.S. Good stuff. So that's the webbikeworld.com quick video tour of 13 different motorcycle chain lubes. There are a lot more out there for sure, this is just a sampling. Be sure to visit webbikeworld.com for the detailed review and more photos and for many more motorcycle product reviews and information. Thanks for watching.